more than one wife, or for him to to at least this is it's not it's not something is wrong. It, it's, it doesn't look right. Doesn't look nice at all. So it does not look nice. All right, we have a gentleman here, Wakali. Hello, I greet everybody. Actually, my first time of coming to your life, but I've been following you all the way. Hey, <laughs> you must buy star, buy star, buy star. No, no, first of all, we must appreciate him. he's a member of Nigerian football team. <laughs> oh, uh, co even currently, football, I know I'm saying this. Tell us, <laughs> talk about football. What? <clears throat> what does it take to be a footballer? It takes a lot that the freeze, you know. And home and abroad, it takes a lot. Not just here abroad or just in Nigeria where we feel that people are suffering and it's been difficult for them to come over to the other side to play football. But when you come here as well, uh, will you be able to wake up 5 a.m. to go to first training? Will you be able to come to training, come in when you're supposed to come in, one hour before? Will you, you know, it's all about discipline to me. If you will be able to be disciplined in Nigeria to come to training, the time you are supposed to come to training and uh, be able to wake up, even when you are tired, you'll be able to wake up and still go to that training and perform because... Uh, they used to say to whom a lot is given, a lot is expected of. Do you understand? So if you will not be able to meet up to that dear demand, and I don't need to explain to you how they demand from you in the other side of the world, because they, they will give you nothing for free. Do you understand? So you have to work for it. But in Nigeria, you know, most of us will think that... Um, People in Nigeria are doing more work than people here. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't believe that because in Nigeria you can choose not to come to training, but here I will not choose. What happens? Imagine you Necessity. Don't... What happens? Even in your contract, it is stated that if you don't come to training, and they decide to terminate your contract, you will pay them back all they've paid you before. Because it's a breach wow. of contract. It's either they put a fine, maybe they warn you the first time. Even if you come in late, when I was in Man City, I could remember fines are being taken one one minute late. Wow. Wow. Training is 10 o'clock. You come a minute after 10. Depending on your salary, you have a fine to wow. pay. Oh. Wow. Do you Basically. understand? So you ah. have to be there. <laughs> but they are paying too much money, so why should you not be there? But a lot of people, ah. a lot of people will not be there. Sorry, sorry. It is rare to have someone who is playing for Nigeria and playing for a foreign team on my life. So sorry, guys, but this is very important. And I've always been, um, I've always okay. been. Okay, that the freeze will do it this way. I will come on live next time. And we'll have all the discussion that we'll have to have. Thank you. So that, it's just that, um, it's, to me, I've always wondered what happens in the life of a footballer. And it's not easy to catch you people. When I go talk, say, tomorrow you go day training, now I go day training the whole day. <laughs> Look, I'm already wearing just already. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. How were you, in Nigeria, how were you discovered? How did you know you had football? talent and how did you go about it till where till the point where you got to where you are then we'll go back to other questions just we just i just want to know your story how easy was it um, easy from a small boy to where you are today easy long story short we are two actually in abroad me and my younger brother when i signed man city my younger brother signed arsenal two years later hmm. but the journey wasn't easy. I come from a small town in you know, Owerri called Eziobodo. We have Federal University of Technology, Futo, is in my community. Community. Yeah. So Emmanuel Amuneke is from my community. He's my direct uncle. Mm. Okay. So 
I started playing football, you know, this um, village competitions when someone like Imamuleke comes back and he hosts the competition and uh, he said, oh, all communities, come and play. Do you understand? Then we started playing. I could remember when I was so little that the coach decided to put me in that game and my dad was outside shouting. May he so rest in peace, though. Amen. But, was as I shouting that that boy is little. If anything happens to him, I will hold you responsible. <laughs> Do you understand? So, yes. yeah. and I come from a family where my dad is a teacher. So imagine everything that he thinks about is education. I I I didn't go to school to the highest level. Everything I know today is out of. Uh, socializing and experiencing the other type of the world and experiencing so much and listening to people, reading a lot of books and all. I started playing football where it is not, where you won't even imagine that you will be able to go outside. But I didn't stop. Let me tell you a story. I went to the north. <laughs> to play a competition. We were eight because the screen, every other person out. Okay, let you hear can testify to this story because we played in the same academy in a way. We were eight. We, we were winning the competition against the North to so fight, bust out. That was in Sabongeri. <laughs> Sorry, God. between Ibo and Aosa, <laughs> and imagine what would have happened to us. We ran away from the hotel, Daula Hotel. I would never forget any of the incident. <laughs> we ran away. We entered the bus. We were driving, so we we came to to the. Uh, Kaduna, we left Kanu to Kaduna. We came to Kaduna National Stadium. That was where we slept. Outside, no hotel, nothing. In the bus, no food. This is one. I will not tell you about the Bini. I will not tell you about the Calabar. I will not tell you about the Lagos. I, I, I slept in FHA field for more than one week until somebody saw me in first stack and to football. It was all about football. It was yeah. all about football. I, I've been slapped in a, a cantonment in Keja, that barracks. That was where we did the under 17, uh, <laughs> under 17 of my life. screening. <laughs> so <laughs> I got to the gate. The soldier said, I sure, what am I having in my bag? I said, my football boot. I opened the boot, uh, the bag, and I wanted to give it to him to see that nothing was inside the bag. You see the slap that this man tear me? <laughs> Child, Jesus Christ. Say, <laughs> now me go search your bag for you. You know? And we've always had this mentality about soldiers. I just turned JJ and I started going back <laughs> home. That, ah, uh, the screening don't scatter. What I want to go there, go do when I don't the collect slap from gates. <laughs> <laughs> Very sad. So the man now looked at me and called me and said, Hey, come. I said, Why did they go? I said, No, 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 don't call that slap for waiting. I know, no. So waiting, I won't go there, go do. The man now felt sorry for me and now told me, Oh, yeah, come. Call Dokada and told Dokada not to take money from me. That was the free tip I got out of football for the very first time. After slap. Make I just say. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> we we used to me and Kelechi and Acho, we used to go to training. We would come to training. Sometimes no money to go back to the village where we come from. We would have to sleep in our coach's house. You understand? Sometimes load bus. Sometimes steal some money from uh, our coach. Sometimes steal money from our parents just to go and play football. Oh. 
And then we weren't having anything. We were farmers. We were, that the free sometimes we declare fasting because food no day, not because say we won't fast. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes oh, yeah, fasting, yeah. you must fast, not be like say I can like, relate. Say, <laughs> you go fast to, so that you go actually forget, you know, that type of mentality when you are fasting, you will forget that you are hungry. But like, yeah, yeah. the hunger go to beat you. Hey! You understand? So, frying gari. You know, when we finish frying gari, we we'll go and eat. sell the gari, get money to feed in the family. Because our dad died at 49 years old, or 49 or so, at a very young age. Do you understand? And Sorry. nobody was there. Nobody Sorry. was there at all. So everything, everything, sometimes one day, we don't fry that we finish, we could go sell. So I don't, I don't steal my own. Where I go go say so that I go get money where I go take go training. Monsi catch me. Bros, you still well well. Oh, ah. you don't pay them back. Ah. <laughs> Everybody do this one now. Go. Momsy catch me. Momsy ah. catch me. So imagine the weeping that comes with it. Die. <laughs> uh. Now I go ask you whether I only use you <laughs> from village to Manchester City. Um, actually we've been blessed my family have been blessed actually actually god has been faithful we worked for it we worked so hard do you understand and that was when i i started to believe that you cannot just stay and pray and expect success no you have to walk you have, you have to, to put you have to see gary you have to Sleep inside stadium. You have yeah. to do yeah. all yeah. slap. Use collect slap. Use leg. Come back. Place like you 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 use leg. If if anybody knows about first stack, make I say you use leg from uh, seven to one. They go. Uh, 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 where, where, what is it called? The other amu amu side. Amu okay. Yes. Amu Yes, you use leg from seven to one. They go and move off in. Ready? Do you do you understand? So, it's not easy. It's not easy. You understand? What? It's not easy. And also playing ball abroad is not also easy. You understand? Nothing so, is easy. <laughs> nothing not is easy. Not professional. One day, mm -hmm. especially I, I, I tell us his story. You know. Thank you so much for joining us live. Let me not take much of your time. We're talking about the honor of Ife. That was the topic. Do you have anything to say or just wanted to join us and say hi? A uh, few things. Uh, my friend, you were talking about that the freeze being... Becoming a king. Or becoming yeah. a king and decide to take it. But I yeah. want you to understand that this, this thing is not... This law of taking second wives is not meant for kings alone. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I, I, I believe it's just a personal choice. Because exactly. I, I also believe that Igbo, the Igbos, they have kings as well. Mm. Who are allowed to take as many wives as they can. But many are just married to one wife. Mm. Do you understand? And yes. I don't believe now that two women can marry one man and it will work out. In this our generation, on a two no waiting that they talk about. On a no they feel stay together. Say on a they share something. Women, women. Say on a they share something. Where story no go come out. Talk more of when on a they share one man. Yeah. Mm. Do you understand? So, mm -hmm. a lot of our men and young guys this time around should understand that if you will take two wives and you've made the decision 
that you are able to marry two wives. Make sure that they are not going to... Look at Ned. Let me use him as an example. I don't think that all the wives are living together. And that's mm -hmm. why you are not hearing... Who? Ned Woko, right? Oh, okay, okay. So, me and you, we no get shin shin. We no get shin by. We also go carry two wives. We and no get to get. Daddy Freeze, you don't start. <laughs> <laughs> and sorry to say this thing that I want huh? to say. Which, which people will always think that Daddy Freeze is poor? Nobody. Let him deceive <laughs> us. We know. Yes. <laughs> Nobody. You will let, let him hide his network. We see no, we know. <laughs> I was that telling is, somebody, the person said, the person said, said he wants, wants to invite Daddy Freeze. I said, did you have money? Don't stress him more. <laughs> I, I think the, uh, uh, the Audi, the Audi, uh, Audi RR8 or something, I think. <laughs> so, so, I don't think that uh, only of you fair did it because he's a king he did it because that is who he is uh, well that's my point to do Sha. that's do my point understand? and I, do you no, think I... he's right do you think he's right because a king is allowed to take more than is is, is rising right to that do that is the, that is first thing i want you to understand that because he's a king is not the reason he's taking two wives okay okay more. Okay. And another thing, because I don't support it, doesn't make it wrong, biblically okay. and traditionally. Biblically. Biblically. Mm. Is that the free that we say that, that we answer that? Biblically. It's not wrong. It's not wrong. Okay. It's not wrong. Biblically, it's not wrong. Okay. Do you understand? Ah, but, but the Bible says one man and one wife. How come it's not hmm. wrong? It, that. Uh, uh, hmm. Bible it, also allows you to take how many way Moses they marry all of them. They marry. Hey, but that's my old testament now. New testament now, don't I? God bless you, my sister. No. Now I'm understanding what's what what the discussion. You know, earlier on I didn't get it and I don't even understand the uh, money fair yeah. of in. I don't really know what's going on. I just have to listen to key in what's going on, you know. But I don't so I me, mean, it's to me it's wrong. Like taking more than one wife. Ha. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm 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 I would say I'm a polygamy polygamous home. And what as I a come child, from what I, I don't support through, it. What I passed through being um, a child from this home, man, do you understand me? That the freeze. And, yeah. I, I come from a polygamous family. My grandfather married two. I never saw them fight to the two wives. I never saw them quarrel. You know, my grandfather was at least one of you know those days. What was accounted wealth was. All this, they are young, blah, 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 blah. Do you One minute, please. <laughs> so, my grandfather had properties as well. Rich to, with all so these things. Do you understand? So, he married two. I never saw them fight, but me, do I support two wives? No. Am I interested in getting married twice? No. Do you understand? Am I in support? Am I in support of polygamous family? No. But does it make it wrong? No. Do you understand? Well, because it's just a personal choice. Hmm. Well said. I start rushing off to Kent. Thank you so much, Kelly. God bless you. Um, I've, I've followed you, so um, we're going to keep I'll it. follow you back straight away. Please. Uh, I've been following you. No need. I've been following you. So, <laughs> of course. I wanted to say that. So you've not been following Daddy Freeze? No, I've been following him. Yeah. I've followed Daddy Freeze for over three, four years. Uh -uh. All, his, all his sermon, everything. Oh, this is so sweet. I'm so happy. Step by step, you know. How come you have so many verified handles? How come I have so many? Handles. Verify handles. Yes. Okay, okay. You are, you are, 
Hey, yeah, I followed you back now, finally. Yes. <laughs> Nigerian Football Federation, yes. Uh -huh. I don't see you now, you know. Mm. Okay. Chief Ebele Makali. Yes. Thanks for joining us live. Uh, thank you, Daddy Freeze. And thank also, thank you. But Daddy Freeze, you have to understand that Nigerians... They don't reason the way you reason. Stop cursing them. Just leave them. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that is free. No, my own opinion, no, that is free can insult them because sometimes, they insulted that is free first, right? I do enjoy the insult. I used to, sometimes but I the blocking. I will laugh, eh? I will the blocking laugh. is to just I calm say, down a little bit. I know they, I know they hear rapture. one. Still, on a yeah, side of the rapture. <laughs> On go still they do this thing, knowing fully well that this man will not let you go. <laughs> I do really, I do and enjoy the insult. My, my regards to taste buds. Ah, uh, I will tell her she's about. And also, Daddy Freeze, there is something, there is something I will discuss with you directly. Mm. About an investment, though, that you talked about. The truck one. Uh, robot trading and the uh, hey. software. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Send me a DM. We'll pick it up. Thank you so much, Chidi. Thank you so much, beautiful ladies. Thank you so much. Let me run and start getting ready to go to Kent. I'm very glad. Yeah. I'm pleased to live. I don't forget. This is my first time. Yeah. Oh. My... Thank, you so much. Thank you so much. Omoni Soft Skin. All right. And uh, my last word: If you become a king, please don't hurt our our women, please, or don't hurt my my sister. <laughs> if you are a king, yes. it's not really necessary that you must have more than one wife. Uh -huh. yeah. Coming. Oh, Chidi has left. Uh, but just come quickly and say the 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 cooking classes begin. 19th of September. I've said that uh, over and over again. Um, 8,500 Naira for two weeks of intensive training um, with regards to uh, food. So um, international, local, continental. continental, all sorts of amazing stuff. We are always going to cook and bake. Uh -huh. So that's taste buds that's right <laughs> I'm so lucky to see you live today. So, I feel lucky anyway. <laughs> so the cooking class is starting on the 19th of this month. And we are going okay. to be baking. We're going to be cooking African, okay. African food. Premium. Online. And online. Online. Oh, okay. Global participation. You can join in from any part of the world. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 that's nice. Record. Mm -hmm. All classes are going to be recorded, so if you get to miss a session or you get to miss a live class, you can always watch. At a fee. 48,500. Yeah. 48,500. Okay. 48, that should be around, um, that should be around 25 pounds or so. Yeah. Uh, you go to somebody's <laughs> house, start there because you came with a special dish. So, thank you all so much. That's the number. Thank you. The WhatsApp thank message. You. Now. I'm watching the number. I will join. Okay. So to increase okay. our number. Okay, I'm going okay. to join Dubai. Yeah. Thank you so much, right. Omoni. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, Chef Yudi, all the way from Dubai. Yeah. Chef Yudi, you're gorgeous. Yeah. I'm going to follow you back. Send me a DM. Thank you so much. So the number is write down this number plus two three four nine zero nine six four four eight four double three. Um, and you can also order your premium meals in bowls, not plates. This boss no, doesn't do plates. We do bowls and we do company catering, we do events catering. So if you have an event or if you have a workshop in your office, we will take care of all of that. Okay. The number is plus two three four nine zero nine six four four eight four double three. 
um, I will make I will cut out this last part um, where she came to join, and I will make a video out of it so you guys can see it, and I'll paste the number right there. Take care. God bless. We had so much fun today. Um, look forward to hosting you again sometime later tonight. Make sure you join us. And once again, the number is plus 234-909-644-8433. This is one investment that you'd be glad you took. I'm Daddy Freeze. See you later. Love you all.